All right. So today is the day. So I have a Ford 390. It's a 79 F350. Used to be a smogger. All the air pump and shit's been removed. Still got an EGR in the back. That is my problem. And you can see the way the wiring comes in here. These plugs. Look at this. These plugs are trash. These all come out of out of the firewall and the problem is where these wires connect down here a lot of these will separate and break because all this sits in here and vibrates this this module has been replaced about three million times by every ford person who's ever got a ford that's their stupid ignition control module so that wiring goes all the way around and back and connects right here well i have no spark on a brand new coil, brand new distributor. Somewhere in between, I have a problem with the wiring because when I wiggle the wiring on a meter, I can see that there's a break somewhere when I wiggle. I'm not a big Ford fan. So here's what I'm doing. I'm going to replace this distributor with like an EFI style with the coil on top. So it's just power comes in, the coil goes away, this goes away, that motherfucker right there goes away, all that wiring is gonna get cleaned up. And then the next silly thing, not a big fan of this motor crap carburetor. I'm not looking for performance, but what I do wanna do is I want to change this over to an Edelbrock. So I've got an Edelbrock 600 and a two barrel to four barrel adapter to go in place. We'll see what it thinks. But I'm not interested in changing the whole intake manifold out. I'm not putting it on a dyno. This is a dump truck. If it starts and drives and I can go get hay and bark and gravel, then I win. So we'll see what happens, but I'm trying to take this thing, just make it a little bit more reliable, simplify simplify this uh, ugly electrical that, you know, there's nothing you can do with. This truck's been around so long, I remember being a little kid riding in this. I wasn't even having my driver's license yet. And my, uh, my grandpa and I breaking down in this thing and replacing a lot of these, see all those little splices in there? And that wiring that's all wrapped up. I think I did that when I was like 14. I'm almost 38. I'm getting old. It's like this damn truck. But, you know. Anyways. That's my thoughts on trying to get this thing fixed. I'll put out another video once I get everything put up. And see if she starts.